Hi everybody, I wanted to come in and share with you a little bit about OBS and show you the very, very basics of getting your show set up. So I'm gonna first show you um, what OBS does. You've probably already seen my video, but I'm gonna quickly show you my setup and then you can duplicate this for yourself or you can tweak it and make it your own and be creative with it. You can do whatever you want with it. So basically when you are in OBS, you create your slideshow for your live stream. It's essentially like, I think of it like PowerPoint for um, live streaming and you get to design, for example, you get to design your layout, your frames, your borders, your everything. Now, in my OBS layout, I have um, three different scenes right down here, or I think of them as slides. I have my welcome slide, which is this one. And then I have my workout slide, which is my, this will face my front camera. And then over on that white street side, you're going to see um, a side camera when you're on my streams. I don't have it set up right now, so that's why it's blank. And then I do have my disclaimer at the top. And then I do have... Um, Sorry, I'm like backwards right here. Uh, I do keep track of what section we're doing in the workout. And then I have my thank you screen at the very end. And so my thank you scene or my thank you screen has a couple different features, uh, but mostly it's just another frame around the border of my video thanking them for being here. And then um, there's some fun things you can add in, like you can add in your schedule so that you can tell them what's coming up next. Um, and then you can also turn your camera on and off with the click of a button so that you can still, like for example, I leave the live stream running for a few extra minutes um, just so they can check the schedule and there's music playing and there's just lots you can do with OBS. So this is my basic setup and I wanna show you how you can get started um, with this setup for yourself too. So here's what you're gonna need to do. You're gonna need to open OBS and when you open OBS, you're gonna get a blank, um, you're gonna get a brand new blank slate, okay? So I need to get a blank slate first of all. So I'm gonna go up to scene collection. This whole thing I just showed you, these three scenes, that's my scene collection, okay? And I've named this scene collection Break Free Fit for me. So I use this one pretty much for every single stream I do. I used to have a separate collection for Pio and a separate collection for Turbo, but I just found that got to be too much and I just like to keep it simple. So I made it very generic and, um, and I keep it just simple. Simple is better. So I'm going to do a new scene collection because I need to do that and I'm just going to call it tutorial. I think I cut out there for a second. I'm not sure why. Um, so this is what you should see when you open OBS. It's a blank slate okay so we have to create our scenes so right down here you can see you have no scenes and what you can do is they've given you a default scene you actually have one here there's just nothing on it um this is called your canvas so down in your scenes panel if you select scene and then right click on it you can rename this and why don't you just rename it your welcome scene i'm sure everyone's going to have some type of welcome scene and then um click again the plus button to add another one and you can do your um workout scene and then we'll add a third one. I'm not sure why it keeps cutting out. So you should have three scenes here. Welcome, workout, and thank you. Let's keep it simple for now. You can always add more later, but this is gonna be the very, very basics. So now, when I toggle through these, welcome, workout, and thank you, it doesn't appear that they're different because we have nothing on the scenes. They are different though. So if I went back to my other seat, other set of slides, you, you notice they changed. So these are changing, you just can't tell because they don't, there's nothing there. So what we have to do is we have to add things to these scenes. And so let's start with the welcome scene. We have to add sources. Now sources are just all the components of your scene. And so let's add the very, very basic thing we need to add. We need to add a camera so that we can the person can see us, right? So we're gonna plus and you're gonna choose video capture device. That's a fancy word for camera. Now, you can name this and you should name it. I'm gonna name mine front camera. And click okay. Now it's gonna ask me, okay, what are the properties for this camera? What camera do you want me to use? So you're gonna to go to the device section here and click the drop down menu and you're gonna choose what camera you want. This will should populate all the cameras that you have installed or connected to your computer. So this is my normal Mac camera. This is my Logitech camera, and I'm gonna tell it that I want it to use a Logitech camera. And there I am, hi. So um, I keep mine at 1280 by 720, we'll talk about that later, and we're gonna click okay. And now here I am, I am here on my welcome scene. So you can see that on my welcome scene, that's selected, 
I have one source right now, my front camera. I can select that, okay? Um, I can click and drag this around. Now, see how it's outlined in red? You do have handlebars up here, they're small. You can resize this by clicking and dragging the handles. Oops. So you can make this as big or as small as you'd like, and you can place it wherever you would like on your scene. You can put it off the scene a little bit if you want, so that it's, you know, it's not capturing everything. Totally up to you. So you have the front camera here. Now here's the other two little features that are very helpful. Um, this little key or lock symbol, if you click that, now the, th this is locked on the canvas, which means if I accidentally click and drag it, I'm clicking, I'm clicking, I'm clicking, and dragging, it doesn't move. That's very helpful because oftentimes you're gonna wanna move things around, but you want some things to stay. So you can always unlock it and then you can move it around again. So locking it just, it, it's like glues it to your canvas, okay? Then the other thing that's um, very handy is this eyeball. The eyeball b just makes it visible or not. So by high, okay? It just, it's not turning the camera off and on, but it's making it visible or not visible to my viewers, okay? Which is also very helpful. We'll learn about that later on too. All right, so you've got to have a camera on your scene, okay? So now let's say that um, I've got the camera on my welcome scene now, but I need to have a camera also on my workout scene, okay? So let's go to your workout scene, and you're going to plus, and you're going to do video capture again. But now you can add existing because you've already added the camera once. You don't have to redo it. So I'm going to click add existing, and I'm going to choose I want to add the front camera. There it is. Okay, now it's on this one too. And I can click and drag and resize and put this wherever I need to on my workout scene, okay? Um, same thing on the thank you screen. I'm probably gonna wanna still see them when I'm on the thank you screen. So I'm gonna plus video capture, add existing, choose the camera you want, click okay. Okay, so now I am visible on a camera in all these places. So I wanna just, now when we toggle through, you're gonna see that they're different, okay? So the welcome scene, I'm way up here. I'm gonna I'm gonna make it different so we can really tell. The workout scene, hi, the thank you scene. You can now tell that these are very different scenes because we're slowly building up what it's going to look like. Okay, the next thing that we need to add to our scene, we probably may need to make sure we have audio. Okay, now right now you can hear me because it's recording through a different audio input. It's not recording through OBS. If it was recording in OBS, see this audio mixer box? You would see it right there. I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So what we have to do is we also, same process. We go to the welcome scene, we go to the plus sign, but now you're gonna add an audio input capture. You're capturing an audio input. Something needs to come into OBS. Okay, I'm gonna call this, mic. I'm gonna call this uh, headset mic. Okay, same thing, I gotta choose the mic. So now I have my microphone plugged in, so my computer should recognize it. I know it's this one because I've already tested it out. And now when I click OK, watch what happens. Okay, this now shows me that if I was streaming, my voice would be going to my people through this microphone. Okay, and I can test it. Test, 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 test. Yes, this is the microphone it's reading. Um, in the audio mixer box, you can use this toggle slider to change the volume. Okay, so that changes the volume for what the people hear. Um, and you want to stay in the yellow. Okay, green. If you're in the, if you're all the way in the green, you're probably too quiet. If you're right in the yellow, in the middle of the yellow, I found that's the good sweet spot, and you don't want your voice going into the red too much. Um, otherwise, you're going to start to have clipping your voice gonna clip and it sounds real fuzzy. Okay, so that's how audio mixer works. So now we know that our people can see us and they can hear us, okay? Two very important things. Now, same thing. We have to go to our workout screen. Right now they can't hear us because there's no audio, right? It's not there, so we have to add it. So we go to the plus sign, audio input, and now we can just do add existing. We're gonna add that headset mic. There it is. Okay, same thing on the thank you screen. Add audio input, add existing, good. Okay, okay. Why isn't it adding? Oh, I gotta select it, there we go. There, now on every scene, 
people can hear us and they can see us, okay? Now, it doesn't really matter. Um, the mic can be locked. You don't, it doesn't have to, I mean, it doesn't really matter because you don't see the, the headset mic isn't a piece on your canvas. It's just over here on the side. And that's only visible to you. So, and I also just put the mic on the bottom. I layered on the bottom. So I pushed this down arrow. See how it just moved to the bottom? Again, the reason for that is not apparent now, but it'll be apparent later. So I'm going to select my mic, layer it to the bottom, select my mic, layer it to the bottom. Okay. You've got the basics down for getting three scenes with your camera on them, with your microphone. Now, what you'll want to do is you'll want to do a test recording to make sure you are actually capturing your audio and to see what it looks like. So what you can do is you can do start recording. Boom, it's recording. So now it's recording a separate video, just a regular old video, and I can be like, hi, this is a test recording. I'm testing to see what this sounds like with my headset mic being at negative 5.5 decibels. And I'm just clicking through my scenes here. Here's our workout scene. Here's my thank you scene. And back to my welcome scene. Okay, now I'm gonna stop the recording. Okay, now this recording is gonna save. I have it set to save to my desktops. Okay, let's watch the recording, shall we? Okay, this is the recording, remember. I'm gonna click play. This is not happening in real time. This is the recording. Boom, it's recording. So now it's recording a separate video, just a regular old video, and I can be like, hi, this is a test recording. I'm testing to see what this sounds like with my headset mic being at negative 5.5 decibels. And I'm just clicking through my scenes here. Here's our workout scene. Here's my thank you scene. And back to my welcome scene. Okay, now I'm going to stop the recording. Boom, recording has stopped. Okay, I'm going to close that back to our, now we're back in real time. <laughs> so the recording feature is very helpful because you can do test recordings to see what it sounds like. Uh, because the thing with OBS is that even though this audio mixer is going, it's not amplifying my voice. I just am talking regularly. So you really want to record often and play around with those different volume settings um, so that you really get a good volume for when your people are viewing. And then once you add your music in here as well, then you're really going to want to do a lot of tests because you'll be able to control the microphone and the music separately. Okay. And I'll show that in, a, in another video. So let's end this here. You've got a couple of things to play around with. Now you can practice making different scenes and you can practice making, adding your sources, the two most important ones, your microphone and your camera. Okay. All right. I hope that was helpful. You guys ask me any questions and we'll get into more of the details of all of this um, in the next video. All right. Have a good day. Bye.